Jesus yes. will have one bit of voice left, yes. as I do not have myself this morning. Oh, oh yes. So we yes. yes. shout as we wait for him, the Lord, 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 Lord Jesus. 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 Our ruler, our stronghold, our rock.
can be de- I can be depressed and I can be felt alone or, or feeling alone. But as soon as I think about you, my spirit start giving me warmth, giving me comfort, and showing me the way. And all the darkness, the physical darkness, exists no more. There is only light in me, O oh Lord. You are God. You are alive. And we are the temple in which we dwell, in which you dwell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have, we mere human beings, O oh Lord, give you worship. Yes. Because since your spirit is dwelling in us, we have become the holy of holies. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, the high priest, as you know, used to go in the holy of holies once a year, Yom Kippur, <coughs> forgiveness of the whole nation and this was a very holy place the most holy place yes. and no one could enter there no one with a false heart no one who would not have the conscience clean because who would die suddenly and now the Ark of the Covenant is one of the most significant items in the New Old Testament and whatever lay there now is laying in our in us. What a huge responsibility we have, brothers and sisters, yes, yes. to worship him Indeed. when he demanded worship yes. from the beginning of times. Yes. When I think about the Lord, Amen. he will save me. He will show me the way. Amen. He will glorify me. In him I sanctify myself.
is that the breaking of the bread and just look like a stone water. To spend a few moments in silence. sang a song declaring that when we think about the Lord, emotions rise up and we would like to shout. Now, the song itself would want you, lead you to shout. But we do not want to shout because music <coughs> leads us to shout. We want to shout because when we think about the Lord, we see the magnificence of Jesus Christ. Amen. That we see His majesty. We see His glory. We see His salvation. We see how He changed us. We see His protection. We see His provision, we see His healing, we see His hands upon our families, about, on our jobs, on us. Do we think about the Lord? Do we meditate upon the Lord? That's why we get excited, you know? Not for music, the music is fine, it's supplements. But if it's just the music, then it's just noise. But when it comes because we have an experience with Jesus. We know, we think about the Lord. We allow Him to speak into our minds, into our hearts. We have a relationship with the Lord God Almighty. The King of Israel, the Lord of Lords, mighty is He. Praise God Almighty. Jay starts, uh, I would like to introduce something to the Jay, maybe like, uh, maybe, maybe this sketch. Thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for us, Lord. Thank you for forgiving our sins, Lord, and for everything that, you, that we did wrong, Lord. Thank you for everything, amen. breaking of bread. The title is The Selfless Mind of Christ. But before I start, I would like to first of all mention that in a week's time, we will be celebrating one of the most important events in the earth, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I think Christians worldwide will be celebrating this great moment. There will be decorations around, special events, some will fast. But all this will help us remember the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Jesus wanted us to remember his death and think about what it means. What was on his mind? What was on his mind before all these things happened? Matthew, Mark, Luke and John give a well description of what we had in, we had in mind before going to the cross. They explain the life of Christ. They give the values of Christ, especially his giving to others, his giving himself to others. 
But one of the most important passages, it isn't even in the Gospels. And in fact, today, Jake will read one of the most beautiful verses that Paul wrote. Please find Philippians chapter 2, from verse 3 up to 11. Jake will read the scripture for us. <coughs> Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to interests of others. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature, God did not consider equal equality with God something, something to be just, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, of a servant being made in a human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at, that at the name of Jesus every name should bow in heaven and, and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord, Jesus Christ is Lord, to the, glo to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. So, I would like to make three distinctions in this case. One being, he wasn't thinking about himself. I think we all agree that Jesus existed of God, as God from the very <coughs> eternity. No one could take his life from him, but he gave himself to us willingly. People were allowed to think that he was just another man. He was even a man of sorrows, as Isaiah declares in 53 verse 3. And there were times that he had no place to lay his head. His trial was unfair. We read from the Gospels, especially in the end of, the, of Matthew, especially we see how irregular his trial was. But he did not open his mouth. He remained silent. He didn't stop it. And why? Because he was thinking about you. Two, he submitted and tell it to the Father's plan. We all know that Jesus went to the Mount of Olives to pray. He didn't, he was in a way afraid to go to the cross. He despised it. A time of shame, but yet above all, the last part of the prayer was very meaningful and very deep. Not my will, my father, but your will. He didn't care. He left his glory behind. He came as a man to the world. He gave himself as he gave his life as a ransom to me. He went around to heal the sick. He went around near even the worst of our sinners, and he proclaimed the gospel of the good news. Because Jesus died for everyone. What a joy coming after that we know that Jesus Christ, God Himself, descended from heaven. This teaches us how important we are to Him. This teaches us how He really takes care of His creation. You are the apple of His eye. And we must all remember that. Next week, we think. Especially we pray that we will be more like him, that we have the mind of Christ, to live as Christ, and to be an example for others. Yet above all, he wanted the Father's will to be done, and he loved his own to the very end. He never abandoned no one. He healed everyone. For all those who believed, he gave light to the kingdom of heaven. In Matthew 6, verse 33, we find one of the 